from Tipperary. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch the show earlier. This little video is really just a way of me kind of talking through the reasons why I picked the houses I did for Leanne and obviously Vanessa as well. Uh, so have a look and enjoy. Okay, so the first house that I want to chat about was the one with the green door. So this is the one that had the external insulation on it. It was really pretty much ready to move into. I mean, there was a couple of things it needed in the inside, but really it was one of those houses that like at 85,000, you were getting a house where you could just move in. And this was one of the things for Leanne that I thought would be quite nice. I mean, it was a tidy little house. She didn't have to get her hands dirty too much in it, which I think is always a good thing. If you can avoid that, do avoid it. Like, let's not be martyrs here. Buy a finished house. If you can buy a finished house, it'd be lovely. The backyard of this one was nice and big as well, which I thought was lovely. I mean, it had all its services. Kieran was really happy with the levels of insulation on this. So, I mean, you all know insulation's a bit of a bonus on a house like this. So yeah, I mean, it had a lot going for it. I know when I drove up to it the first time, I drove through Boyle. It was only about a 12 minute drive outside Boyle and when you were going over to it, it was almost like you were driving through a national park. I mean, there was viewing areas looking out over valleys and it was absolutely fantastic looking. So a gorgeous area, grass growing up the middle of the road outside it, really this idyllic country cottage without all of the hard graft that a lot of these country cottages bring. So one of the main reasons that I brought Leanne to the 39,000 euro house in Mayo was because I think it's one of those houses that I love. It's one of those houses that needs to be saved badly. And it's also one of those houses that's not in terrible condition. I mean, the things that I loved about that house were the fact that it had a bathroom, it had running water, it had nearly an acre of land, it had this lovely little driveway down to it with land on the right and a little bit down the back. It had outbuildings. It had a galvanised roof. Sure, it wasn't the most amazing roof in the world, but it would have got you into it. It looked relatively modern too, the roof did. So, I mean, I wasn't massively concerned about the structure of the roof. I know it kind of freaked Leanne out a little bit, but I think you're either okay with a corrugated roof or you're not. It's just a personal preference. But um, yeah, I mean, I love that house. I think out of all the houses, they're the kind of houses that I want people to get into. You guys know that about me more than anybody. But yeah, that was why I brought her there. It wasn't a massively long drive off a main road as well. So although she was rural and she had that very kind of idyllic picture postcard driveway down to her little cottage, it wasn't in the absolute middle of nowhere. You know, she was a little bit of a drive from a main road and then she was back on her main links to all the towns. So yeah, that was why. And 39,000. 39,000 euro, come on. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't take a lot of like rack in your brain to see why I brought Leanne to the Charlestown house. Look, it's big. It wasn't massively expensive at 95,000. It had a great garden. It had a lovely big two-story outbuilding at the back, which is essentially another house, a way of her earning money. And the inside of that house was just gorgeous. I mean, the owners of that had kept it so well. She could have moved straight in. Sure, she could have changed lots of stuff about it that were her personal preferences, but she could have got in. She could have started living there. And that was the thing I wanted for her. I wanted to show her that if she was willing to compromise a little bit on the decor and maybe the stylings of the house, that she really could get quite a substantial house in the Northwest for under 100,000 euro. Okay, lads. Key Cottage was one of those houses that you only see like once in a lifetime. The fact that it had been maintained so well by the people that owned it, it's just amazing. I mean, that fireplace with the stonework in it, the fact that even, I know when I was in the house, it was so warm. It only had single glazing in the windows. It didn't have great insulation on it, but it was cozy. I mean, we were in that sitting room and it was so toasty. And this was early in the day, like when we filmed there. And to think like by eight, nine o'clock at night, that place would have been amazing it would have been so warm and so lovely and there was a lot of modern touches done to that as well I mean like they had the little extension at the back that had the bathroom and the utility room in it and it was a nice bathroom too lads gorgeous outbuildings with a lovely big garden and I don't know if it was made really obvious from the filming but the view from the front of that house looking out over the little fields and the little hills was just the most amazing thing I mean standing there looking at it it was just magic and to think I think it's one of the things that gets lost when you view properties only online you don't really see the magic of standing in front of a house like that and what it actually has in front of you Okay, so this could be an absolute no-brainer for some of you guys, but 
My favourite out of all the houses tonight was 100% the €39,000 cottage. I mean, I can see myself there. If I had €39,000 in my bank account and I had nothing else to spend it on, I would be there. If that had been for sale when I bought my house, I would be there. It had a bathroom, it had running water, it had power, it had land, it had outbuildings, it had that gorgeous little laneway down to it, which is just the most adorable thing. So like, it was just lovely, you know? The fact that it was kind of shabby on the inside and it needed painting and it needed scrubbing and stuff like that. Look, that is nothing to ever put you off a house. I loved it. I think any house under 50,000 euro is worth really sitting back and thinking about but I really think this one wasn't that far out of left field. I mean considering some of the houses I bring people to <laughs> this had a roof, yay, it had a toilet, double yay. <laughs> this was lovely, I loved it. I wish you would have been able to see what I saw in it but I mean it's not for everybody and luckily enough her budget was high enough that look she doesn't need to compromise on things like that so yeah that was my favourite so I'm going to try and get in touch with Kieran, and I'm hoping from where he is down in Cork he's going to be able to give me his favourite house from tonight and um, yeah so stay tuned. Hi Maggie. Um... So uh, yeah, thinking about the episode, um, my favourite house would definitely be uh, the Key Cottage. Um, I think it was a, you know, it has a great potential, beautiful old character. I love that fireplace and the shelves and the timber beams and everything. Um, it was so like warm and snug. I think it's got huge potential um, for someone with like a kind of a creative mind and a, and a, and a, and a reasonable budget. So uh, Key Cottage is my favourite house. Take care. So there you have it, Key Cottage for Kieran. The 39,000 euro house for me and two other really really strong contenders for Leanne so which one was your favorite I'd love to hear it so put it in the comments below and I'll have a read through them as soon as I can so I'm gonna try and do one of these next week as well thank you all for tuning in and extra thank you for watching the show and for all the PR you've all done for me leading up to this this week and um, yeah so from myself and Kieran until next week bye